Looks like a new MMORPG Marvel game is in development. Warzone's new map is smaller than players imagined and Uncharted Legacy of Thieves' release date is sooner than people imagined. Hey what's up everybody welcome back once again to Top Gaming News and this week we got some very interesting one including a brand new Marvel video game. Marvel has been lending rights to many producers to bring their franchises to life in video games. This started from Insomniac Games who have made the very popular Spider-Man games and then it went to Crystal Dynamics who worked on Marvel's Avengers, which wasn't that great. And now recently Eidos Montreal worked on Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy, which by the way I highly recommend for you to play because it is, for me at least, the game of the year. But Marvel is looking for even more producers to work on more video games and now it looks like a company is going to make a new Marvel game who have previously made a DC video game. Dimensional Inc. Studios who have worked on DC Universe Online is now currently working with Marvel to make a new AAA MMORPG game. This new info is coming from Miller who tweeted out on Twitter about the very same info. He also talked about how Daybreak who have helped in the development of DC Universe Online have attempted to make an MMORPG game but that failed and was completely cancelled. This new particular project is going to be a long term project meaning that you won't be getting any kind of news about this game anytime soon. So we might be hearing about this game in 2023 or 2024. But what could this game be? Well it could be very much closer to DC Universe Online which means if that's the case you will be able to create your own hero and walk alongside with Marvel superheroes with a bunch of players interacting. They can even take inspirations from Final Fantasy XIV which has once again got a lot more popularity. Marvel is just going ham with brand new video games, different types of them and I'm very much excited to see what this new MMORPG is going to look like. What are your guys thoughts about this new MMORPG game of Marvel? Let us know in the comments below. Warzone is supposed to get a brand new map as it releases on December 9th but apparently this map isn't going to be as big as players thought. According to a leak reported earlier by VGC, it was mentioned that the new map's size will be bigger than that of Verdansk but it looks like that information is either false or the map size has been reduced. This new particular info is coming from Modern Wars on Twitter account. They say that the final version of the new map looks different than that of the one we saw in the Secrets of the Pacific event. Seems like the rumors of the island being bigger than Rondansk were true but then the size has been reduced. Now Modern Warzone's report have been very much true in the past so we can take this information as well as to be true since it's very close to the release of the new map. Now how big is this map going to be? Well we do not know because there is no official notes or any kind of talks from Activision themselves. It's highly unlikely that the map size might be reduced because it was teased in a different way. So not so sure what's going to happen over there but we will get to know about it probably next month when the map actually drops. Are you guys excited about the new map coming to Warzone? Let me know in the comments below. Uncharted Legacy of Thieves collection was announced in September 2021 which will consist of remastered version of Uncharted 4 and Uncharted Lost Legacy. It looks like the release of this edition is very close as this game has been rated by ESRB. The game was earlier rated by GRAC in Korea on November 4th and then rated by Australian Classification Board on November 8th as reported by VGC and now the game has been rated by ESRB. So if ESRB has already done the ratings which means usually when this happens the video game release is very very close because then they can actually give out the release date. According to the Nvidia GeForce Now list leak, the game was listed to come out on February 7th on PC. If that's true then PC players have the time to rejoice since on January God of War will come out on Steam and the next month will be Uncharted Legacy of Thieves. The only doubt at this time for me is that what the price of the game will be. We know that God of War right now is priced at $60 on Steam. We saw Days Gone priced around the same so it could be possible that Uncharted being from Naughty Dog, one of the biggest companies of Sony, they'll be putting out this game at $60. That's quite obvious because Sony wants money. Many people complain that the other three Uncharted games are not coming to PC. Well quite frankly because they're way too old. Remastering older games might not be the best idea because instead of remastering them, what they can do to make it look better according to the current gen is to remake these games. We have already seen how GTA Trilogy Definite Edition looks not so great as we imagined. So making that as a remake would be a better choice as Mafia did with their remakes. But I don't think so, Naughty Dog is going to go an extra mile to remake a game just to release it on PC. 
Anyways, what are your thoughts about Uncharted Legacy of Thieves coming on PC very soon, hopefully on the second month of 2022? Let us know in the comments below, are you excited to play Uncharted? Because I cannot wait for you guys to experience what all of us experience on PlayStation. According to a new rumor from 4chan thread, Mirror's Edge is next in line for the remaster. Now this is just a leak, so you should take this with a pinch of salt because it could be false. This is reported to be announced at the Game Awards, which is happening on December 9th. Mirror's Edge was a really good game developed by DICE and it was a very different kind of game. The first game did a very good job, while the second game did not do as good as imagined by EA. And so the game was not taken further to have a third game. However, I, including a lot many others who have played Mirror's Edge Catalyst, that is the second game by the way, we all know and we all believe that that game is a lot better than the first game. The storyline was a lot better. Everything that was bad in Mirror's Edge was a lot improved in Mirror's Edge Catalyst. The storylines were a lot much better and the animations, well, they were even better. Somehow the game did not earn as much as he wanted it to be, so that's why they cancelled any further game projects. Earlier there was a report that there was supposed to be another Mirror's Edge game but that was cancelled because of this exact reason. Since remasters and remake are now in the trend, here we are with the remaster of Mirror's Edge. Well regardless of that, have you guys played Mirror's Edge or Mirror's Edge Catalyst? Let us know in the comments below because I actually really enjoyed that parkour game. And I hope that the remaster will look good with the new generation and people will get to experience that more. Only if the price was $60 for that one because <laughs> that would be stupid. That's what EA is. Well, this was everything that I wanted to talk about in this episode of Top Gaming News. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, leave a like and comment down below what you think about any of the news I just discussed in this video. And also do not forget to subscribe to Gamer Connect to watch more game news just like this every single week without fail. 